Fresh cut fruit or vegetable processing involves trimming, peeling, and or cutting produce into product that is bagged or prepackaged to offer consumers highly nutritious and convenient fresh food. Though they are altered from their original form by processing, these foods remain in a fresh state, ready to eat or cook. Unlike many food products, fresh cut produce is not subjected to thermal or heat treatments such as pasteurization or sterilization during processing. Prevention of or removal of existing contamination during processing is the only means of assuring production of a safe and wholesome product. Washing and trimming reduces but may not eliminate contamination. The goal of a food safety program is to prevent harmful microorganisms, physical contaminants, and chemicals from being introduced into produce. Contamination during fresh cut processing can occur in numerous ways. Some potential sources of contamination include people, employees, equipment, processed water, industrial chemicals associated with food processing, for example sanitizers, pesticides and lubricants, and packaging. Employees come in contact with fresh cut produce many times during processing and should be trained in safe food handling. This is because humans are often the vectors involved in the spread of disease like the common cold or even foodborne illness. Employees may transfer foodborne illness causing microorganisms to fresh produce at various points in processing operations such as receiving raw ingredients, raw material warehousing and cold storage, unloading raw ingredients from field containers, preparing product for machine cutting, peeling or trimming before machine cutting, mixing or blending produce medleys, placing fresh cut products into their primary container, bags or rigid containers, weighing, boxing and warehousing finished products. The written training program and the employee hygiene and health practices covered in section 2 of this video are important components of any food safety program as it relates to personnel. Good manufacturing practices, GMPs, emphasize the need for adequate employee training in proper food handling, hand washing, and food protection. Strict adherence to GMPs is important and employees should have the knowledge and understanding to carry out their responsibilities properly. Training should cover the dangers of insanitary practices and poor personal cleanliness and how these practices can lead to consumer and employee illnesses. Adequate training of employees is everyone's responsibility and should be assigned to competent supervisory personnel. GMPs and good employee hygiene practices should be followed each step of the way by everyone, including forklift operators, management, and visitors to the plant to reduce the chances of spreading foodborne illnesses. Fresh cut preparation and cutting equipment are all potential sources of contamination from microbial, chemical, or physical hazards. Both visual and analytical evaluation of all processing equipment should be performed before processing begins to ensure that proper cleaning, sanitation, and maintenance have been performed. Traditional evaluation methods such as environmental swabs or contact plates are often used. Rapid test methods, such as the use of a bioluminometer before the start of processing, allow one to evaluate sanitation efficiency in real time. These real-time measures also allow employees to take corrective action before processing begins. Some firms even provide financial incentives for sanitation crews meeting goals set by managers. All equipment for preparing, cutting, and bagging fresh cut produce has food contact surfaces. A food contact surface is any surface that comes in direct contact with food, as well as any surface from which drippage or condensation may contact food. An example of an item not typically thought of as a food contact surface is a drip or condensation pan on refrigeration units. Food contact surfaces should be kept clean and sanitary to prevent them from becoming a potential source of contamination. All food contact surfaces should be constructed so as to be durable, easily cleanable, non-absorbent, and non-toxic. This includes such items as knives, conveyors, belts, and chutes, product totes, gloves, tools such as shovels or rakes, cutting boards, tables, spinner baskets, and packing scales. All equipment or food contact surfaces should be constructed of suitable non-corrosive materials, constructed with smooth sanitary welds to prevent the buildup of food materials, and easy to disassemble for cleaning and sanitizing. Refer to Section 3, Facility Design and Product Flow, in this video for important detailed recommendations about facility design. Processing equipment can also be a potential source of chemical and physical hazards. 
Chemical hazards from processing equipment may include such things as industrial lubricants from sprockets, bearings, and gearboxes, or hydraulic fluid from equipment, overhead hydraulic lines, or gearboxes. Physical hazards from processing equipment may include such things as nuts, bolts and washers, and other small or large machinery parts or metal fragments which may come loose from equipment. Of course, it is always best to prevent contamination of foods during processing, but one tool is available to help detect physical contamination of food, a metal detector. Metal detectors can determine if small pieces of metal are present within packaged products. This method is not foolproof, however, as food processing equipment is typically constructed of stainless steel, and metal detectors are less sensitive to low iron content metals. Metal detectors are recommended to help screen packaged food products for gross metallic contamination, such as broken knife blades or machinery nuts and bolts. Once a metal detector is in place, it should be tested frequently to assure functionality and be set up to eject packages from the normal product flow if a problem is detected.